Hello. I'm very happy to show. After I got it all fixed up, my four-cylinder oscillating engine steam plant, I bought this from Germany a few years ago. It was in pretty tough shape, but uh, I've got things all polished up. Had the engine apart and done. A couple of things I want to show you. I rebuilt the sight glass. Now, I don't know if you can see through there, but uh, I can see from here the other bottom flange in the sight glass. Uh, excuse the uh, pressure safety valve counterweight. Uh, again, uh, it's a four cylinder engine. This has been rebuilt. This valve has been, whoop, come back here. This valve has been dismantled and rebuilt. Uh, everything was taken off. It took a while to polish up this deck because they applied lacquer to the brass. And uh, if you ever decide to redo some brass, please don't lacquer it. Um, over here we have an expansion tank, a thumper tank to some people, chuff tank to others. Uh, it has a drain right on this end for uh, draining under the base. Now, I can't really prove it until I get uh, a nice run done on steam, but I think there's a weir in the center just to the right of that drain plug. Once I get it on steam for a while, I'll uh, drain that and see if there's anything collecting on this side. Okay, the engine itself has a couple other nice features. Underneath the crank is a, re uh, a drain trough. That drain trough goes over here. And that drains all the oil to a point under the, under the engine. Now, as far as being under the engine is concerned, let's have a look at that. This comes complete with a large condensate tray, which is fitted underneath. I'll fit it under there in a second. And it's big enough to uh, handle both the condensate and the oil drip. So let me just get this mounted. I haven't got much room, so, so forgive me. Um, I'm trying to get as much of the engine in as I can. Okay, let me set that condensate tray. Like I say, it fits right underneath. Right underneath. Now, this is uh, only going to be run on air for right now, okay? I've got a couple more touch-ups to do. I have to figure out what I'm going to use for a burner. And then I'll make a video of the run on steam. But for right now, let's have a bit of a run on air. And we'll see how we do. Oil goes in here. Steam oil will drip down in between the oscillating cylinder and the faceplate. I use light mineral oil on the cranks and bearings. Let's see what happens here.
I forgot to mention the nice three shiv transmission at the end. That has ball bearings in it. Works very well. I've only got a portable tank and I'm running out of air. So as soon as I get some touch-ups done, like I say, I'll give this a run on steam. I don't think things will be too much different. Thanks for watching.